<laughs> well, hello. We just got done snorkeling the plane wreck at Norman's Key, and it was excellent. I'm going to go rinse off, I'm going to change clothes, and then we're going to pull up the anchor and head to Shroud Key. So let's go. From Norman's Key, we cross over the line to the Exuma Keys Land and Sea Park on our five nautical mile sail to Shroud Key. In the Land and Sea Park, no fishing or lobstering is allowed, and there is no trash disposal anywhere in the park. These are due for any overnight stay at the park, whether at anchor or at a mooring ball. The well-maintained mooring balls are available on a first-come, first-served basis at Shroud Key, Hawksbill Key, O'Brien's Key, and Cambridge Key, with those at Wardrick Wells requiring a reservation. We anchor south of the mooring field during our stay at Shroud Key. Shroud Key is an archipelago of keys and rocks surrounding shallow tidal mangroves. These mangroves serve as a nursery for conch, lobster, sea turtles, birds, and a variety of fish. So we have finally made it to the Exuma Land and Sea Park, and we are at Shroud Key. It's a pretty area. At Trout Key, we saw several mega yachts anchored outside the land and sea boundaries, whose staff set up large cabanas with water toys such as kayaks, jet skis, and sea scooters at the ready for their guests. With the lab mariners happy after their walk, we head back to grab the paddle boards for some exploration of the southern estuaries. Am I doing this for you or for me? <laughs> I want to see how you get that second one in there. First one's easy, second one not so much. Uh, uh. <laughs> Where am I going? Yeah, that's a good question. It's like a puzzle. pretty. It's very peaceful. And it gets really shallow here. Wow. Jim points out some sea turtles. These turtles are so fast that I'm unable to capture them. Really? As soon as they see any motion, oh. they start to swim away immediately. What? Oh, must have saw you. <laughs> it was on hundreds of feet in either direction. Yeah. Oh. You hit me. No, you're gonna hit me. That's okay. I'll move my paddle for you. You're going through the maze. You get stuck.
Made it through. Good job. Why we needed to come out. Yeah, perfectly. All right. After a restful evening, we wake up early and head to Sanctuary Creek, which is only accessible by dinghy at high tide. So we set off at, what time was it? Six o'clock this morning, 6.15? Well, we woke up at four. <laughs> we woke up at four, charted off idea. our course. We woke up at four, we got the boat organized, gassed up the dinghy, and realized that it was going to be a high tide, and we could do this beautiful, we could do this beautiful, um, hot, yeah, Make it's, a tour. it's a tidal cut in between this uh, this key and now we're actually riding the current out to the sound side and this is so cool you can see for quite a while quite a distance all of the mangroves And Jim has decided to gondola me. Yeah. He's he's uh, canoeing the dinghy so that it's nice and calm and quiet and we can enjoy all the peace. This, this water is so clear. I've, I've seen a lot of mangroves and it's been, we've done a number of uh, paddling trips. Yeah, this is mangroves, one of the clearest ones that I've seen. I've been able to see all the root systems with the mangroves in clear water fish just love it they, uh, yeah living inside all of the roots and mangroves are great because they take all the nasty stuff out of the water yeah. and they clean protect, out the water from, uh, erosion. yeah but the sun is just starting to come come up it just rose maybe 10 minutes ago five no. minutes ago chauffeur <laughs> the dinghy chauffeur so if you ever get to shroud key go to the north end find the dinghy cut that's what it's called on the map and come do this at high tide and frankly if you're lucky do it either at sunset or sunrise it's beautiful mm -hmm. We haven't even gotten but halfway through it. Oh, it was perfect because we paddle boarded during midday, yeah. so you could see into the water really well. Now you can't really see into the water very well because of the position of the sun. So it was nice that we did midday with the with yes. the sun over the water, being able to see in the water, and now we can see the mangroves and all their and all their glory. So we, we timed both of them perfectly, yeah. quite accidentally, but it was nice. <laughs> Just like that, we hit the rapids. Yeah, 
I know. Well, you had ran into somebody who said it was beautiful, so it's good that we came and checked it out. All right. The map said uh, there was rapids here. <laughs> We timed it perfectly. Yeah, they are very fast. Well, and it's just the beginning of uh, the uh, ebb, so it's going to get a lot faster in the next hour or so, making standing waves. Very cool. All right, you want some fun? Want some fun? Yeah. Join us next week when we travel to Wardrick Wells, the headquarters of the Exuma Land and Sea Park. Here we hike numerous trails with names such as Boo Boo Hill Trail and Hutia Hill Trail. Snorkel at two sites and enjoy some action at three blowholes. <laughs>